we would share these mistakes, how we acquire, how we treat the culture things, how we fight people. We should fight some people earlier. We should keep some people. You know, there's a lot of detailed things. I believe any companies in the, church, in the future will learn. And, and I think today I'm not talking about Yahoo US. Chinese country is not able to launch their products based on Taobao platform. So I want to hear your opinion about this. Thanks. Okay, I'd love to. We'd love to open the API for the non-Chinese country. Unfortunately, it's about the payment. It's very difficult. I, I have, you know, when I travel around, I saw so, so many overseas Chinese, they say, oh, Taobao is wonderful, can we buy things outside China, sell things, and a lot of uh, foreign. We are trying our best, and uh, we think that if the payment prop is solved, things could be moved much faster, and uh, Taobao will never stay alone in China. I said Taobao does not belong to China. It comes from China. It belongs to the whole world. It belongs to this generation. Let's make sure in the future it can help more people because things really cool on Taobao. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Hi, Jack. Uh, actually, my question is kind of similar with hers, but... Uh, you want to buy things from here to from Taobao? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> Of course I want to, right? It's so cheap and uh, thank you Taobao, uh, improve my life. Okay, so uh, my question is that you have said that there is no difficult uh, business in the world, but the truth is for a lot of foreign companies, it's really difficult to do business in China. And uh, we have a lot of clients, they want to go to China and uh, actually luckily, Taobao, uh, Ali Group can provide the whole solution for them, actually from the high China, from Alipay, from everything. But it's hard for them to know there, there is a choice. And uh, it's hard for them to kind of cross the policy part or government part. So what's your, um, do you have any plan to help those foreign companies? Because Chinese still <coughs> has a, a needs for the foreign products. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I think doing business is difficult in anywhere in the world. Foreign companies go to China, find the problems, and I think, and I believe, Chinese companies come to the U.S. and doing business also facing big problems. I don't see any very successful Chinese companies in USA. I mean, you know, we come here in the USA. Is there any famous Chinese companies that come to USA or European that is very good? Who? <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> not yet, not yet, right. Lenovo? Do you call that successful? <laughs> no. All right. My, my thinking was that uh, in China, we do have some successful foreign companies, right? Microsoft is not bad. IBM is not bad. And we have a lot of Oracle, a lot of great companies, and the foreign company in China, very successful. Guys, going anywhere, doing business, takes time. I think my friend Kara Fisher, you know, asked me about question in the D conference. Uh, no market welcomes gamblers. You go there, create value for local people, have time, it will have chance. So I believe that doing business today in everywhere in the world is difficult. China's, my wife and I was debating yesterday morning when I was driving, saying, she's saying, oh no, it's so difficult to do business in the USA because there are a Walmart chain, whatever chain, everything's a chain, even the, co even the coffee is a chain. He said, how can you have a small business? And I said, well, in the U.S., it's easy for a small business to do. To, so there's a professor sitting next to us. We should have a big debate. Which country is easier to do business, U.S.A. or China? And I think China today, if you still think about we should follow the government policy, you know, the negotiation, or forget it. I've said again and again 12, in the past 12 years, every time I speak out of China, if you meet somebody come to you see, I have a strong guanxi with that mayor, forget about this guy. <laughs> the only guanxi is the guanxi with the customer. If the customer loves you, the government will better love you. 
Trust me, they need the tax. They need the jobs. <laughs> but if you want to pick a run, you know, you're in trouble. So I don't, I don't believe that because my relationship with the government in the past 12 years, as I was in love with them, don't marry them. Always. <laughs> I love them. Every time they come, I tell them the truth. I do everything they tell me. Yeah, okay, right, let's communicate. But do business, sorry. My friend does business with government, not me. In this way, you get respect from them. If this is that serious about Alipay, let's listen to them because the law is not government guanxi. So, I give you advice. It's always scared, looking far away. Oh my God, this is a difficult place. Go there, test. Jump into it. You never learn swim until you're in the water. China is not that bad. But, <laughs> but, people ask me why China has no, no apple. USA have capitalism for more than 200 years, right? That thick fertilizers. People, company, die, grow, die, grow, that thick fertilizer. China, only 30 years after reform Deng Xiaoping. 30 years have a company like Tesla, Baidu, Alibaba, Sina, not bad, right? So let's wait for another six, 30 years. We will have them. And that is not China. That belongs to the world because it belongs to the internet at the time. It belongs to the young people who were born 1990s and 1980s, year 2000. These are the people going to change the world, and especially most of the students here. And they are the future. I, I believe that. Thank you. Thank you. I use the I used to work at uh, eBay and PayPal. I know how much challenge you have. Back to 2000, uh, I don't know, do you remember? Um, you have the TV advertisement in Australia. That is two months before uh, Senior Olympic. I have a business trip there. So at that time, Alibaba just uh, have two years old. So you have the ambition to have a globalization at that time. So now, after 10, 12 years, right? Uh, Alibaba has more power to have a globalization. What is your future plan for the global uh, growing strategy? And uh, uh, I think that's it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, <laughs> you're right. When we have money, we start to make mistakes. When we have money, we have a beautiful office. We hire people with MBA, MBA degree. We hire people with the uh, VP of multinational companies. And, and when we have a little bit of money, only have five minutes, we start to think about globalization. Jesus. And then we said, let's back to basic, B2C, back to China. Year 2002. <laughs> I remember we called that time called a B2C, back to China, back to basic, back to base, right? Back to central of China, the coast area, back to coast area. Because we, we told ourselves global vision, local win. No matter how wonderful you think, you have to step on the ground and do the things, the hard work every day. So, so many years passed, 12 years passed. We still believe global vision, local win. But we, start, we tested Japan, we tested Indian, we tested European, and we tested also in but past 12 years, we never shut down the U.S. office. I'm now coming out for one year. I want to learn one thing. And I want to ask this thing to everyone here, sure. Fortune 500 CEOs in the world, they all believe China is a big, interesting mar market. But nobody really give up things and come to China to spend one year there. Because if you really want to know China, you got to spend some time, and me too. And I'm asking USA, European is going to be a big market for us. And I just want to put down everything, spend time in USA for one year, get feeling how we can help the USA SME, how we can help the US. What's the difference we can do between Amazon, eBay, and us? 
What's the real value we can create? When you think about that clearly, let's start to do it. Because we cannot, we never should finish a 20 year program in two years. Life is short, but life is long. You cannot say, I want to finish that in two years. We have time. I'm that old, but I'm still young. I, I have time. Yeah. So we will go step by step, not asking about how much revenue we can bring out of China. We will ask what value we really can bring to local people. And we have already more than 50 million small business outside China using our services. And we do not charge them. And freedom, free, is always the best. We will, we will work on that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.